Uh, just a reminder, the Mavs got here. They sent home the number one seed in Thunder uh, in six, while the T-Wolves, you know, no big deal, just knocked off the defending champs in seven. Luca or Ant? Mm. One of those two dudes will be playing in the finals. Um, it's amazing, Chandler. How great is this for the NBA? It's great. Just the fact that <laughs> these two guys are in it and these are so many budding young stars. And, and these two are the two that everyone are looking at now. They're, they're, one of them are going to the NBA Finals to really separate themselves, to play on the biggest stage and compete for an NBA championship. So it's awesome that we're going to get one of them. And this is a tale of two teams. This is a great defensive team against an offensive juggernaut. And defensive wins championships, we'll see how, whole, how true that holds up. Because Minnesota, they've proven they can do both. They have scores. They all know their roles. They can defend. They present a lot of mismatches in this series with just the cross match with, Mc, uh, with Jaden McDaniels is a great defender. Anthony Edwards being a two-way guy. And really the only the two threats obviously of the Dallas are Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. So can PJ can PJ Washington stay hot? Can they get production still from the, can they get something from Tim Hardaway? Is he going to play more minutes? Jaden Hardy, Josh Green, are one of those guys going to step up and kind of have a big series? Are they going to get a lot of action from the bigs and the, and the Robs? So there's a lot of questions from Dallas that Minnesota can, can, they can defend so well that we know what we're going to get from them. We don't know what we're going to get from those other guys in Dallas. <laughs> why, why is Lou laughing? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Uh -oh. So Ant-Man and Luca being in the Western Conference Finals, is that the best case scenario <laughs> for the NBA? Sure. I mean, yeah, they're both they're two of the best players. Yeah. Fine. You, know, you didn't like how I danced around the question? Yeah. Yeah, He's of a course. politician up here. But even if the Thunder win, it'd be <laughs> awesome to see SGA in the finals. He's also a young star. So yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I think it's but there's like they're not gonna guard each other. I think Luca McDaniel is the matchup. I well Ant Man said Ant Man said publicly he's he's guarding, he's guarding Kyrie. Ty. Yeah. Do you love that? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. Why? I don't I don't love it. I love the no. confidence. But I do love the confidence. Yeah, if I, I think Luke is gonna guard Mike Conley, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I think he's gonna not be able to he's gonna not do both. <laughs> I know that, it's a fact. That's, Wait, not a, that's not a great matchup for him either. There I'm you just, go. I'm just saying. Listen, I, <laughs> I, love I like Edward. the comments. Anthony Edwards is, I've said this all season young. This dude is my favorite player. I find him wildly amusing. He can do no wrong in my book. So I look forward. This is a series. This is the one that we're looking forward to. We don't, the, I know. You know what I, mean? I, love him, was right. I love him being being ready to take the challenge. But if I'm if I'm Chris Finch, I want him to guard somebody that where he can save a little energy and have his legs on the offensive end. Oh, so and, then who's who has to get Kyrie then? I have the matchups right here that I think I'm predicting. Oh, right? okay. I think it's gonna be Luca and McDaniel's. Sure. Kyrie and Con I think Kyrie and because Kyrie and Conley. Okay. Which is tough for Conley, but he's there, he might not guard him. Derek Jones is gonna guard Anthony Edwards. He's gonna give a little more length, okay. and then obviously Towns and PJ and Gafford and Gobert. Those those are I think the opening matchups will be. That's what you, okay. I, I don't. They can throw a couple bodies at. Yeah, they got and options I feel, I feel, for sure. I feel like they can throw PJ Washington. They can throw uh, obviously Derek Jones Jr. I'd be surprised if Luka Doncic plays a little bit on him. You know, oh. he's he's got a big build. I think I think he can at least physically match up with Anthony Edwards. I don't know. I mean, they switch it, everything. And they're going to switch and, everything, and switch especially everything, with so. Gobert in the game, because he's not a threat to you know to get a switch and to post up. So that that's that's a win for Dallas if they get you know Luka on Gobert and they're throwing the ball oh. in the post to Gobert. Like that that's that's what they want. So yeah. they're going to switch everything. So everybody's going to be guarding everybody. I just think that is the matchup game on the line. That's who's going to guard each other. That is Chandler's matchup. Shams, what are you looking for? I just think these teams match up really, really well. I mean, you think about they have Anthony Edwards you can put on Kyrie Irving. You have Jaden McDaniels on Luka Doncic. And then from there, it's like you, I think they match, they, they've they got the big men. When you think about Colin Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert. Obviously, we know they, Dallas now has Gafford, Lively. Um, they've got different bodies you can throw in the front court as well. So I, I think overall these two teams match up well. It, it's going to depend. Uh, if the shot making of Dallas, yeah. when you have Luka and Kyrie, can that supersede the defense that we know Minnesota is going to bring? There was a moment the other night. We didn't play for you yesterday. We were saving it for today. Uh, it was Carl Anthony Towns and Ant Edwards. It's like their comedy routine. They take it on the road. Um, they had an answer to a question about needing to lose big. Shout out Vincent Goodwill. Here it is. This is for either one of you guys. It, and usually in NBA history, it says you have to lose and lose big before you win. <laughs> What is it about this team that says we lost guys? last year? Yeah, but that, that, that's different. You have to lose at a bigger stage. Usually teams. Usually it's the playoffs. Win. We lost last year. <laughs> we lost the last two years. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> how much more we got to lose? Yeah, how much you want us to lose? We've been losing for 20 years. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth, dog. God damn. 
damn. God damn. Sounds First like Chris week. Tugger. From Rush Hour. Thank you. I, I can't Is that not who that what? is? From Rush Hour. Is that yeah. him doing an impersonation uh, or is that his voice getting real high? I don't high? think that's how he normally sounds. He got two voices. He does, like, like Tyrese Halliburton. He does. Yeah. He got two What's voices. What's up with the two voices? Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, but it is funny. He forgot to turn his TV voice on. <laughs> <laughs> TV voice is needed there. Uh, all right, fine. Who has more to lose? This is an interesting one. They're both young. Feels like equal, but... Yeah, it's, it's going to be the Mavs. Okay, why? You got Kyrie Irving, you got Luka Doncic. Those guys are, are considered veterans. They're considered superstars at this point. I think Anthony Edwards is emerging as a superstar. Carl Anthony Towns is emerging as a superstar. The other two guys on the, on the other side are already solidified, they already have reputations, they already have um, a standard that they have to live up to when it comes to their fan base and people that look up to them. So I think the pressure, um, even though they're, they're the, the, the lower seed in this one, I think the pressure is on hmm. the Mavericks and I, I think it's theirs to lose. That's fair and it's crazy just to think from one year to the next, Rudy Gobert trade last year, how everyone was just rolling it through like the yesterday, mud. Like yesterday, it feels the dirt, like. Worst, I, there's multiple people, including myself, said this could go as the worst trade of all time. Of all time. They're in the conference finals. So I don't, I don't I think. I was one of them. Yeah, like. I it, think it, everyone it, was. It I don't took, know anyone who said and it say, And on the flip side, think about when Kyrie got to the Mavs last year, how much they struggled, also how they that. were bad. Mark got fined a million dollars for trying to lose just to get this draft pick. Like, and now they're in this, so these two teams they went through some shit to get here so they're both in fantastic spots they both have awesome coaches the Mavs have a lot of good things happening with new ownership and stuff like that so again why are you dancing today man Doing a lot of I dancing. don't think either of them I think if they lose whoever loses I don't think it's like damn what it's, a not waste like it's not like Boston with championship right. or expect no we didn't ex we expected the Clippers the Suns the Nuggets we didn't expect okay. either of these okay, two teams but we're here now and Dallas has been your team this entire I would time. like to I obviously to see Dallas win, but I don't think that. I, I want I you to stand on business and say. Stand on business, Dallas. Chandler. I don't think they have more to lose. I don't. Ooh. I don't. I think I would love. I would love them to win. I think they are going to win. I just don't. I don't. I don't think it's a bad season if Dallas loses this. Like yeah, I, I, just say it, Sean. I, 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 I would say. I would say. Kyrie Irving, obviously, he's he's a veteran. I mean, when you think about star players. Anthony Edwards, Conley Towns, I think those guys have probably a little bit more of a runway. I think Kyrie Irving, he wants to win. He wants to win now. 